Today I had the pleasure to talk about uh, data science and neuroscience um, with the subtitle um, What is really um, going on in the intersection of um, imaging neuroscience and data analysis as we do it in, in the modern day. And um, the culture clash in my opinion is really the transition from um, classical statistics that was very much focused on making statements about how groups of people are different. You know, we try to find out, for example, what type of treatment would be helpful to most of the patients that I could encounter. But they may be less valuable or less tuned to a different type of question that we are going to ask more often in the future probably, and that is which type of treatment may be an optimal choice for a particular person. So I think there is a transition between null hypothesis p-value based type of group reasoning where I ask what's best on average to a new type of reasoning and that is um, which choices would be best for a particular type of person that I can extrapolate for large data sets to make statements about the person in front of me. To combine questions that we ask in, in biomedicine and the, the types of tools that are emerging in the space of machine learning and data science. So on the one hand side we see a proliferation of complex and always more complicated data sets. So we have detailed information, high resolution body scans of always larger sets of people that are what we call deeply phenotyped. So not only do we have information from always more people, we also have always more sets of variables that describe these sets of people. So, and this opportunity also um, imposes the challenge to really make sense of all these always more complex uh, data sets. So and this is really where modern statistical tools come into play that um, some people would call machine learning, data science, predictive algorithms that may be perhaps much more naturally tuned to um, processing and making sense of um, these large data sets. So to give one particular example, um, the 20th century statistical regimes they were very much focused on, on simple statistical models that had a small number of parameters, much smaller than the number of people I, I, I look at. Whereas in what you might call 21st century statistics, uh, oftentimes we have much more complicated models that have a higher capacity to find complex relationship in data, but oftentimes they have many more parameters then uh, we have observations and the question is how we can really um, make sense of data sets using these complicated uh, procedures. Mm -hmm.